What's up everyone? Quick and spontaneous video today. So in my 2022 preview video I already announced uh, the upcoming projects but uh, now last week I've came across a guitar which I thought would be a possible project for this year as well and it's this one. The Kramer Beretta Special in this absolutely lovely purple which I don't think the camera is picking up that well. Um, it's a very very rich purple. It looks a bit pale on camera, but uh, yeah, there you go So <laughs> I got this guitar as a B-stock guitar from Toman uh, It was 162 euros, which is absolutely nothing for a guitar and uh, It's been it's been a long time since I bought a like really really cheap guitar and uh, Here we are. Let's take a look at it. It's not really a review. Uh, it's more of a should we or should I make a project with this? Um, because I mean, does it get more 80s than Kramer in purple? I mean, purple is definitely my color, and uh, Kramer with its guitars in the 80s and stuff, um, I don't think it, it, it's getting more 80s. Anyway, so let's take a quick look at the guitar itself. Um, it is a mahogany body. Maple neck, maple fretboard, separate fretboard even. It's not just one piece, it's a separate fretboard. Uh, black inlays, um, a matching headstock, which is amazing for 160 euros, I think. Uh, usually headstocks are black and just the body has a color. Um, speaking of the finish, it's really, really nicely done. I don't see any major flaw. It's a bit scuffed here and there, maybe maybe a little marks here and there but as i said it was a b-stock guitar so that's why i'm not doing like a proper review just telling you what i what i see here uh yeah neck joint is fine with the plates um access to the 22 frets that's unfortunate 22 frets only but uh, i mean that's what you get uh is fine regular scale 25 and a half inch at least regular for me I um, love that headstock. I love this um, vintage Kramer logo on there in the gold with like the 3D effect. Um, so, so cool. Uh, these are made in Indonesia, by the way. Yeah, we've got an Alnico 5 humbucker, which is like slightly slanted, uh, just like in the original guitars. Uh, and also with a zebra pattern. So one of the calls is white. Really cool that you're getting this on such a cheap guitar. And yeah, then there's this, <laughs> a six point vintage style tremolo, which absolutely gives me nightmares. But I mean, for price range, in this price range, it's absolutely normal. I would not even expect a two point here. Um, yeah, as you can see, the arm is, yeah, it's not ideal. If you can, if you tighten the arm, it's like really fixed in place. Um, you can have it loose as well. I mean, what do you, what do you expect? I mean, this this tram is pretty much unusable, I think, but not because of the tram. Um, the problem is the guitar goes out of tune like nothing else. If you do like slight, slight bends down, you can't bend up. What's the problem, in my opinion, is the nut and uh, the fact that the strings like spread out behind the nut so there might be friction here with this plastic nut and maybe also the tuners are not the best which I which I expect with this guitar so maybe tuners and nut would be the first thing that I would upgrade on this guitar other problems are that the frets are not polished they're like super rough listen to this Ugh. super scratchy um, however, this is not a big deal. I mean, they can be polished up very fast. What's really, really good is, and that in impresses me a lot, that the fret leveling is absolutely on point. It is, it is on point. The action and also how the guitar came set up, it came set up like a dream. This plays like a dream. It's absolutely insane for this price. But... Uh,
Yeah, maybe little spots. Yeah, absolutely nothing to complain here, uh, other than that they're a bit scratchy, but you know, you can polish them up in like half an hour and they are super shiny and smooth and you're good to go. So yeah, what do you think? Should we make this a little project? I mean, there's not that much that we can do. Uh, we could throw in a new pickup. I was thinking maybe a um, push-pull volume, so we can split it. Um, I mean, it's, it's nice and minimalist like this with just a single humbucker. Um, but yeah, maybe we can make it like a split coil for that single humbucker. Uh, as I said, polish the frets and then uh, I would suggest a graph tech nut here and new tuners. Um, yeah, along with that, it would be cool to have black tuners and a black bridge, so black hardware. Um, yeah, however, I don't know how much money we wanna would like to pump into this. The fact that this plays so well already and sounds also fairly decent uh, to my ears uh, is really promising. I mean, if you're a beginner or you just wanna, you know, have another guitar maybe in your arsenal, if you're a fan of the 80s, I mean, I can see a beginner learn to play on this guitar because it absolutely plays like a dream. I know that a good playing guitar is not always how it's made but how it's set up. Uh, this happens to be set up perfectly and um, yeah let me know what you think. Now I don't know when I would squeeze in this project, I mean it's not that much to do so it could be uh, in the near future. Yeah however I would probably have to rely on sponsoring because I've spent so much money on um, upcoming projects, like big, big, big projects. Um, so yeah, this would be a little, little fun appetizer in between. So yeah, let me know. Uh, we're going to check out some sounds uh, right now and end this video with a couple of 80s sounds. And uh, yeah, I think aesthetically uh, this guitar matches my style very well and this channel and my music. Enjoy the tones. Uh, you can, by the way, you can find these uh, presets on my Patreon. Um, I've used the Archetype Petrucci in this video. So check the link down below in the description. Take care, stay healthy and I will see you next time.